So, you want to know how to draw beards and hair? Well, go ahead and wait a couple weeks without shaving and you'll get there. Hey guys, welcome back to Touched by Kai, I'm Kai, and today we are back once again taking a look at uh, what I just said. We're going to be looking at uh, how to do a couple styles of beards, some hair, like a regular... Oh, you know what we'll do? We'll do like a goatee. That'll be kind of funny. So, I'm just going to kind of loosely, just kind of roughly go around his mouth like this and kind of come down... And do like this, go around, and connect this bad boy up. And then we're going to, of course, make the uh, the top as well. So this is going to be kind of more of a rough goatee looking style. So I'm, I'm just kind of shaking my hand a little purposely while I'm going. And that part's too smooth. Kind of rough it up a little bit. I'm going to rough them up. Um, and then we're just going to come around here. I kind of want to blend that into the eye because maybe, like, you can't see it over there. There we go, and connect it back up. Now, the good thing about this, like I said, if this was going to be like a blonde goatee, obviously you have to worry about this this area right here. Make sure that this looked fine from the inside as well, or whatever, what have you. Let's actually do a, a colored uh, goatee so I can just prove that you do need to have these lines nice and how you want them on the inside. If we didn't have to have, like, we can have them like this on the inside, like going all weird and stuff. If we were just going to call the whole thing in black, because you won't be able to see it, obviously. But if it's going to be a color... Um, like blonde or brown or red or uh, pink even, you know, we're going to need obviously not to be like that. And I want the, my line thickness also to be consistent at that point. I'm going to make a new layer, put it beneath the line art for the beard. And then now we have, uh, we have, oh, that's, that's too close. Let's do like a, let's do like grayish white. Let's do like this. Maybe he's an old man. Maybe it's old Kai. Maybe that's what it is. This is what I'm look like when I get old. Okay, so now we have a whole, oh, there we go, it looks great. See, that gives him an entirely different look, you know, an entirely different look. Now, obviously, um, we're going to need to do a little bit more than just that. Now, if you want to shade this, um, which I don't like doing, but I will do for today's tutorial, um, what I'm going to do is I kind of want to, like this, and just some specific areas just for some texture, not around the whole thing, but just in specific areas like that. And then we're just going to drop the opacity down, right? So like this, we'll do the same thing kind of have it go off this direction you know I don't typically do too big of crazy hair but I actually did a uh I did I animated Goku um and for his hair it was quite crazy and I had to actually animate it which took quite a bit of time but what I did for that was kind of like I just kind of kind of went up and I just looked at pictures of Goku and you could see his hair kind of just goes in every uh direction and it kind of has this really weird shape to it like uh like this so I kind of just go off of there and just you know, connect these back up after the fact, and if I want to be sharper, I'll just make it sharper like that, and just erase some pieces, so just erase that portion, add some pieces back, I'm hitting E as the hotkey for eraser, of course, you see how I'm just kind of getting the basic idea down, and then going back through, and then making it look, um, perfect, or, or how I want it, you know, and cleaning it up, after the fact because I want to get it down first so I know the shape of what I'm doing and it kind of guides me to where I'm supposed to be um, cleaning because if, if you don't know what you're supposed to be cleaning up to get it to where you want it to, I mean you, you don't have anywhere to start from so let's go ahead and get that uh, down as a guide first and then we can always fix it up uh, later on All right, okay, so you can see how we can get this uh, how I want it. Now to connect it to his head, what I like doing is I like trying to find the center of where the hair is. So I don't think this guy has his hair parted in any specific direction, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in the center of his hair. I'm going to put it right here in the center of his head. We're just going to kind of sketch in a little bit of like a thing like that. It looks like kind of like, like, a, like a main portion where that's, that's the part where it's uh, kind of coming together in the front of his head. Um, and we're just going to kind of leave it super sketchy like this because it's hair, you know. Um, and I like doing that for the pieces that I connect to things, even if it's a cleaner style like this, obviously. And then I'm going to kind of uh, go off of that. So you can see how I'm going to flip my canvas upside down by holding shift and then hitting the bottom most b button on my mouse, on my, my mouse, my uh, pen. I'm kind of just rotating the canvas like that. You can also rotate it, I believe, or maybe you can only unrotate it up up here somewhere well five is the unrotate but okay that's what it is one two three was it three no uh four five six and yeah so four is to rotate it this way five is to rotate it this way six is to rotate this way and five is to go back to center so you can always do that if you don't have a bottom most button on your pin but you should um all right cool we're gonna go ahead and just rotate this kind of breeze through this a little bit because we're 
running out of time here. You can see how I'm just kind of doing like this to uh, paint in that hair, the hairline rather. So we're going to kind of do like this and kind of arc this one down a little bit. And now you can see we're running out of space here to kind of go across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of start arcing it downwards like this and kind of just going down until I get to the bottom of his hair where I want it to be, which is right about there. Now this one doesn't, his head's kind of angled, so I'm going to kind of go like that, and we're going to call that one. And we're going to give him the same color that we had before, so P to eye drop, and then B to go back to uh, the color. So now you can see we can't actually uh, fill this in with the paint bucket because it's, you know, not fully together because I chose to do the sketchy line art style all the way across the edges of the hairline and then once we fill that in we can of course go ahead and fill the rest in manually well yeah automatically sorry and now uh, we can go ahead and paint bucket this all right cool so let's just grab, grab that paint bucket and fill that well we have to let me hide that real quick we'll fill that in and then we can rehide that re unhide that sorry uh, this is a part of what layer is that on I think that's on that layer. There we go. All right, cool. So now you can see we have hair. I didn't. Ooh, I didn't do the the, the little piece over here. The little tiny baby piece. Got to get that. There we go. And perfect. Awesome. Now uh, you can see we have hair. Now once again, if you want to shade this, you can shade this the same way that we did the other layers. Which where is it? Uh, there we go. Uh, you can do it the other way that we did the layers with the hair like that, or you can do it uh, traditionally and kind of go ahead and get in there like this. Just grab a darker color, something about like that, maybe add a little bit of bluish tint to it, and then we'll just go ahead and do something like this. F color that in right there, and then what we'll do after that, that portion, is we'll drop the opacity down, and then we will go ahead and erase and we'll cut into the the shadow to make it look like it's a hair texture. S essentially making it look like uh, like that. Which looks a lot more like hair if that's something you're going for. If that's the extra step that you want to take. Same thing with this guy over here. I'll do this last one on camera. And then we're going to have to call it quits for today's tutorial. Hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. You can see here how this is uh, some cool things we can do with hair and beards especially i want to go ahead and really really quickly actually you can see how we can just get some super quick lines in there that's just really sloppy but you get the, the idea so really quickly what i want to do is also do a long style beard so we'll go ahead and just uh you can see this i'll make this one clean so we'll do like like this right and then kind of just drop it off the side of his face like uh like that right and then this side as well, kind of arc them together, and then close them on up. There we go. And now you can see, um, we can just like fill this color in. Of course, I'll get my little line art style in there. And then we can just fill this right on in. I'm going to hide the bottom most layer here. And then we'll just fill this bad boy in. Let's do solid white this time. And then we can unhide this. And now you can see we have quite a few different types of beards, hair, and here and everything uh, for your different styles, for your different whatever, what have you. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to be doing some more stuff like this in the future with a not cartoony style, of course. I've painted realistic hair before. Um, definitely check that out if you want to see a more realistic painting style. What just happened there? I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. But until then... Bye-bye.